hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also these folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today in this video i am going to create this pitched parapet roof along with the flat roof using the roof command in one of the previous videos the link of which is given below in the description box i have shown you guys about how you can create a pitched parapet using the sweep command but this technique which i am going to show you in this video is a much better option than the sweep command so let's start the tutorial open a new architectural template file in revit and then let's select the roof command and here i'm going to create a render boundary for the roof so this roof is basically going to generate a pitched roof but if you want to insert a flat roof within it click offset let's say give an offset of three feet and click here and if you press the tab button you can create offset at the same instant by clicking only once now select this inner lines and uncheck this defines slope as the inner line should not have any slope and for the outer lines you can change the slope from the properties dialog box and click ok so here we have our pitched parapet for the roof using the roof command and you can see how easy it is to create that now double click on it and let's say we want to increase its uh, uh, offset by three feet and let's delete these inner lines click ok and here we have our pitched parapet with more slope and you can also change its slope from the properties dialog box now let's say i want to add some more uh, variants or some uh, additional parts of the roof uh, which have more slopes as compared to the other parts for for that i have selected the roof command and here i am going to create an other boundary like this now these two inner lines and these two outer edges they should not have any slope delete this one only these two sides should have the slope and it should uh, match the slope of the roof now go to the elevation and select this and move it till here so that the slope of this meets with the slope of the previous part of the roof and then in the modify tab select the join command and join this roof with this one so in this way you can add uh, if the height and the widths and the slopes are different for different parts of the roof of this pitched parapet you can use this technique and let's say i have i'm going to use the same technique on this part of the roof but with a lesser width
again these two parts should not have any slope and also this one and this one they should not have any slope either click ok then go to the elevation and move this part of the roof to meet the slope of the existing parapet then apply the join command to join these two parts of the roof so here we have uh, model our pitched parapet and it looks like this so now let's go to the top view of the 3d and we need to place the flat roof for that again select the roof command click ok and using the pick line select these lines to create a boundary a closed boundary as this is a flat roof uncheck the defines boundary is defined slope and then click ok so here we have our flat roof on the level 2 plan and if you want you can move it vertically by giving an offset values here here so now uh, i need to place a wall to join the flat roof with the pitch roof for that select the wall command Pick the line tool, set this face, niche face interior so that it is towards the uh, uh, other side and place these walls on the level to floor plan like this using the pick line tool. Now go to the 3D. By pressing the tab button, select all of the walls at once and attach the top base with the roof, the speech parapet, and it will join it like this. So now we need to create the walls uh, on the level and floor plan and let's join them with the roof. So for that, place the walls on the level 1 floor plan and connect them to level 2 as you can see in the video You can see that these walls are not joined with the roof so select them like this and then click on attach top base and then select the roof and now the walls are attached to the roof and they have changed their profile automatically so repeat this step on all of the walls as you can see here If you want, you can add more complex designs for in this pitched parapet as well. So let's create a dormer style on this side. For that, create a th place these three lines like this, and let's keep it slope at six. And and this should not have any slope that line, and this should be a closed loop. So trim it like this and now we have our design in that pitched parapet as well so if you want to create this technique uh, use this technique you cannot use it in this uh, sweep command so for that this roof command is perfect and you can see how it looks like from the inner side 
and if you want you can change the slope of the side lines to increase the height of the dormer for that go to the top view of the 3d double click on this part of the roof select these lines and change its slope to let's say 9 and you can see that the dormer has increased its heights its height so more the slope value more will be the height so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe